Steeler Nation, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Something cool happened yesterday. I mean, really, really, really freaking cool. And I said freaking, not the other word, F word, YouTube. Something really awesome happened yesterday. Uh, if you had a chance to be a part of the live chat on the podcast with myself, Mark from Steeler Nation Australia, and my guest, Brian McFadden. Something so cool happened, though. Like, it was awesome that it was on the podcast. I was very happy to have a conversation. Probably one of the best podcasts I've done in a very long time. The questions flowed. We talked about Super Bowls. We talked about uh, kangaroos and the uh, Debo Harrison story. We talked about why Brian McFadden was or, you know, how proud he is to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. And I'll show some of these video clips in this. And if you were there for the live, fantastic. I appreciate you being there. If you want to watch it again, let's watch it again. Because this is really cool. Inside the Steelers moment, the Steelers fan moment. I have the channel that has 2,400 subs uh, from Steelers Nation Australia. But 17 years ago, it's almost been, or 18 years ago, was Super Bowl 40. Now, I started watching football, I think, when I was 15, 14 something like that around 2002 or maybe I was about 12 years of age watching NFL football and I chose the black and gold Steelers alone based on the colors and I thought they were black and yellow. I thought, sweet, they look awesome, they're cool. I'm going to start following uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Little did I know that 18 years ago, would I have a Pittsburgh Steeler, former cornerback, two-time Super Bowl champion on my show, Steelers, nation australia and i i went to work today and i had a bit of a re reflection moment sit back and thought holy holy dooly holy holy craziness like it's so awesome that that played out that way and yes a lot of hard work and i appreciate b mac coming on i really do for his time to to come on and talk football and i hope if b mac's watching uh, or maybe I can send it another tweet in another few months' time to get him back on the show. I want to keep up these, uh, you know, relationships and mateships with former players and players on the team. I'm all about supporting the team as best I can. 110%, get behind them, support them, cheer them on, go on to win number seven. And I sat back today and I was thinking, that's pretty cool. Like, I got Brian McFadden. I asked him, I said, can you please come on the show? And then we'll talk football. I've had Merrill Hodge on the show too. So two highlights of mine so far that going back to when I was a little kid watching football was now a bloke in his room talking football to Brian McFadden, the same bloke that I watched win Super Bowl 40, that I watched win Super Bowl 43 with James Debo Harrison. The bloke was in the locker room running around crazy getting two Super Bowls in my lifetime. And he talked about that as well. So I just wanted to give a big shout out to Brian McFadden, uh, also to this channel, to this community, to HDU, Holy Dooley University. And I think it's awesome. And that's why I do this stuff. I don't want to create clickbaits or make up news or give bad opinions or whatever. Sometimes my opinion can, be, can, it can suck or be terrible. It's my opinion. I don't want to make stuff up. I want to work hard, chip away, and get Merrill Hodge on the show. I want to work hard, chip away, and try and get BMAC on the show. I want to form those relationships with these blokes, not just do clip, clip, clickbait title, you know, la da da da. Naji is pissed off at this, da 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 da. Don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. So I thought it was super cool. And when I sat back today, I was like, man, what, what was accomplished yesterday? in the podcast world was unbelievable that I had one of my best podcasts to pat myself on the back. And it really was a good podcast. Go back and listen to it. Um, that B Mac explained the tweet. He talked about Super Bowls. He talked about the passion that is black and gold Steelers. That is Pittsburgh. I've been there three times. I've seen a game. I've seen Heinz field a few times and I want to go back again. That's why it was so awesome. Right. Another thing that was awesome too. And I want to play a clip. If you were to tell me 17 years ago that you'd ask BMAC, Brian McFadden, cornerback, 
two-time Super Bowl champion for the Steelers. If you if you were to ask me, would you ask him a question about kangaroos twice? Not only once on his show, All Things Covered, check him out on his podcast with Pat P, but on your own show, and you talked about kangaroos, who would you rather fight? Two male kangaroos or James Debo Harrison? 17 years ago, I would have said, you're crazy. I probably would have had a maybe a squeakier voice when I was 14 or 15. Oh, you're crazy, right? But I would have, I would have said, oh, you're crazy. There's no way. Dead set. And then 17 years later, working hard, being a fan, being a super fan of our team that we love and we can't wait to watch football again in 2024, I have this guy, this, this clip to show you guys with the kangaroos. Because I asked him this question, who would you rather fight, two male kangaroos or James Debo Harrison after his 99-yard interception? Check this out. And, you know, I, I think you would know better than me What's the significance in male kangaroos compared to female? Oh, have, you, have, you, have you never seen a male kangaroo? I, like a picture? I, I didn't, I didn't yeah. know which, 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 what, what it was. I don't know if it was a female they're, or male. They're jacked. But... They're jacked. Like the, the male kangaroos, the, the, they call them big reds. They're absolutely jacked. Like there is, uh, they're just all muscle. Like think, think like if Debo was a kangaroo, that'd be the kangaroo. Wow. And like they're, they're full of muscle. They're full of testosterone. Um, they can't walk backwards, so they sit on their tail. They kick you with their feet. They grab you with their their claws, and they can rip your guts out. Like out in the wild, like in the outback, right? Not near my local shops, but like those kind of kangaroos are pretty aggressive. There's been some some farmers who have had their their dogs in a headlock by a kangaroo. There's been some what? farmers who have had a fight. Yeah, there's videos out there. Uh, 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 kangaroos who have fought farmers, stuff like that. So facing two male kangaroos who want who want to fight you and beat you, or James Debo Harrison after. He's because you get a bit of advantage because he's he's gassed, right? He's gassed. So I, 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 even, uh, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that insight about kangaroos, but yet male kangaroos. Now I had to reconsider my option. They, they, they're, huge. About, they're, they're, they're full of muscle. They're, they're, they're jacked and how, up. how tall are they when they're not oh, standing on that six six feet or six foot five? Depends how big they are. You know what I mean? Wow. They're pretty massive. Well, you, if you, in, in the spare time, go check it out. Like, they're massive. I asked, I think I sent a, a question to uh, Mike Bergen and Ike Taylor. I think Ike Taylor said he, he'd go for Debo because he was on the ground, and that was an advantage. <laughs> I think Ike might be on to something because if he's yeah. tired, you know, I might have a shot. But you talk about two main, male kangaroos are just as strong as Debo, and they're not winning. Yeah. And they and they they sit on the back of their tail. They kick with their feet. They rip your guts out. They're just aggressive. They're very aggressive, like uh, you know, kind of like a lion kind of thing. They're very for their you know their their their, can, uh, their, uh, their you know female partner and stuff like that. So I thought it's it's a hard question to answer. It really is a hard question. I just like how you said scoop and score on a kangaroo. I'm yeah, I'm like, I I feel like I can go ahead and get underneath <laughs> them and, and scoop them real quick. But shoot, yeah. I might get kicked in the face. That was something that if you were to tell me 17 years ago, I would, I like I said, I think you're crazy. So I overall in 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 this Steelers uh journey on YouTube and and following the black and gold and cheering them on and cheering on the older Steelers from 2008 and and, and what I grew up with, like James Debo Harris and watching that 99 yard run to the end zone or following the Bass Betters and, and Big Ben's career, um, all this stuff. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm purely a fan channel. I have a fan take on everything. I try and get behind pretty much every person I can. Um, with some cases out there, you know who they are. Some players I didn't really like, but I try and get behind them as much as I can. And the fact that I asked, <laughs> I, it's so crazy. I asked Brian McFadden, BMAC, that question. Shows you how how it goes at full circle in 360 from when I was being a kid, and I can't even imagine now like from players you know getting drafted by their favorite team like Troy uh, Faltano, who's who, who's a Steelers fan, right? I think some of the Herbigs were Steelers fans as well. Um, there could, could be many more who were Steelers fans getting drafted by their team or representing Pittsburgh and representing the team they play for them. They, they want to win, win Lombardies. They got six out of eight. So when I asked that question about the kangaroos and, and Brian McFadden is checked in and so focused and listening and paying attention and, and giving me the time of day, it's absolutely crazy that I played Madden 2000 and what? 
seven, eight, or whatever it may be, uh, back when Madden was good, and I used the Steelers to to win Super Bowls in my game, and I would have used him at corner. That's insane. For me to think about that 18 years ago, I didn't had no podcast, I had no Steelers channel, I had no Steelers anything, no Steelers Facebook, no representation besides waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning and talking football to my family and friends. And 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 now Brian McFadden, Merrill Hodge have come on the podcast. Thank you to them to to say hello, talk football. And we're unlucky because I didn't ask Brian McFadden about his favorite pizza. But it's so it's just awesome. It's truly, truly awesome that that kind of works out where you chip away at stuff, you work as hard as you can, uh, you put the feelers out there, you send some emails, you do this and this. And I want to try and get more Pittsburgh uh, Steelers, you know, representatives uh, in the media, coaches, you know, whoever I can. I want to I want to do a good another good interview with the next player, the next person, the next coach. Do you know what I mean? I want to keep this. Uh, and just the one thing is, I'm not really worried about the views too much. I just want to have a conversation. I really just wanted to find out what B Mac thought about this, how he felt about. Super Bowl 40 or Super Bowl 43, and where was he on the Debo story? And he was on the sideline, and everyone's fired up in the locker rooms. He talked about uh, Joey Porter, and they shot me in Denver, right? It was awesome to relive those moments with the actual player who was a part of the team that that I cheered and support 17 years ago, now on Steelers Nation Australia. I, I can't even – I just – well, I, I put in the words for a minute, but I really can't put in the words. It's so unbelievable. It's insane. And we're not stopping. We're, we're only doing more things cooler, um, getting better, working harder. Season's coming up. And yeah, shout out to Brian McFadden. Shout out to Merrill Hodge for, for the, like seven, last year's podcast he was on. He's a busy man too. We'd love to try and have him, have him back if I could. Um, you know what I mean? So it's all kinds of awesome that these things are happening where you're a fan of the team. And you turn that into one huge uh, community that is growing. HDU, Hooli Dooley University, uh, Steelers Nation Australia. We're live every two, two or three days. And I had Brian McFadden come on the show and say, what's up? And that's fantastic. That is really, really cool. Anyways, I'm out. I'll see you guys later.